Hi, this is Eslin. Welcome back, fishies. Today, I'm going to fry some pork chops. I had some those leftover apples, so we're going to fry some pork chops uh, right here. I got them the other day when I went out uh, in my haul. I think, I, yeah, I got these at Myers. They were a good deal. Um, I put on just some Laurie seasoning salt and some fresh peppercorns here. Can you see that? See that? Okay. My oil is already hot. I like to do that. I just lightly floured them. Lightly floured them. I'm going to drop one in. Yes. Okay. Now, I am frying this in peanut oil. Um, I think it's Luann's peanut oil. Um, I just wanted to get it a little crispier. I like it uh, peanut oil crisp. But if you have allergies, you know, you can use the regular oils, your corn oil, your canola oil, your vegetable oil. You can even use coconut oil. That's, that's a really good oil. Like I said, we're going to have a session when I cook with the um, coconut oil. But now I'm just going to cook these two pork chops. Um, I've already uh, browned, I mean, I'm warmed up my apples over there. And I have um, an extra little sauce, the rest of that chimichurri to go with it. Move that out the way. Okay, now this is the apples. They, you know, are, they're they're warm. They're not. They're kind of hot, but they're not too hot. And then that's the rest of the chimichurri. I'm gonna take that and spread it over the pork chop once I get done frying it. So I guess I could put this right here. Now, when you're frying, you kind of want to be careful with the grease. You don't want to get burned. You don't want to stand too close to it. But yes, I think this is almost ready for me to flip it over. It's not all the way submerged in the um, oil. I probably could have let it cook a little longer, but that's okay on the one side. This is frying up really nice. And like I said, I have the apples on the side. I don't have a green vegetable today, but I'll, I mean, with this particular meal, but I'm, I'm going to have one with it. I'm just going to have this earlier, just the applesauce and the um, pork chop. I'm going to have that right now. I'm going to move this out the way. Yeah, but I'm sure I'll have a vegetable, uh, maybe even a salad, a small salad to go with it. Or, you know, maybe some broccoli or just some cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions, just something light on the side. But for now, I'm going to um, have this just, the uh, acidity from the chimichurri is going to brighten that, the heaviness from the fried pork chop up. So that's probably one of the reasons why I'm not going to have a vegetable just yet, but I am going to have a vegetable. I'm just going to step over here just for a second. My hands here. Oh, yes, you know, and then you could also have a starch. Um, rice. Is all, I, I like rice. Rice or potatoes is always good with pork chops. And you know what? You can fry your pork chops and then make them s s uh, smothered style. That's just you take them out and then you make a gravy. Then you put them back in and let them finish cooking. You have the gravy. Then you pour it over your pork chops. Then you can pour it over your rice, your potatoes. That's the smothered style. I'm not going to have that today. I'm just going to have the good old, plain old fried pork chop. I haven't had one in a very long time. Like I said, I got them the other day at um, Myers. They were on special. I just wanted to cook a couple of them up. And then, you know, I'll put whatever I don't eat. Food saver, you know what I'm saying? The food saver brand, food saver, whatever I don't eat of the pork chops, I'll probably put in there. Then I could chop it up later, you know, maybe put over a salad or maybe add some barbecue sauce or something later or even some um, balsamic and berry reduction. Either it'll be probably a blackberry or strawberry reduction. That's also works really good. I think this is going to need to turn it over again. Oh, yeah, now see, this side is a lot better this way. And then I kind of use, um, I usually eat pork a little bit more than I do the steak, the beef. It's a little bit harder to digest versus pork. So, yeah, I tend to eat a little bit more pork, but don't get me wrong. I, I do love a good steak. And we, we will get around to cooking a steak. Yes, we will. Really soon. We're going to get around to it. The weather's changing. But I think we're going to maybe cook one indoors. But I love my steaks on the grill. I really do love the grilled steak. Now, just to talk about my um, apples here from the other day, <clears throat> what I did was I lined them up a little bit because when I heated them up, I sprinkled a little bit 
more lemon juice on them just to brighten them up just a little bit more bring a little bit more acidic acidicness out and tamper down a little bit of sweetness not that it was real sweet but i just um, wanted to just tamper down a little bit of the sweetness with the pork chop um and like um we're gonna have a discussion on it but there are a lot of labels out there when it says no sugar but they i think it's like 49 or 50 different words that they say is that they say is sugar, but when they say it's no sugar in it, like brown rice, that's sugar. That's on the sugar list. And need everybody know the fruit toast, fruit toast corn syrup. That's that's on the list also. So yeah, you know you have to, you gonna have to watch out for that. That's why I started making my own salad dressings and you know some of my own condiments like the uh, chimichurri, and I make my own. Um, pico de gallo. It's a lot of things that I make that I don't buy. That way I can control the sugar and the salt content that's in it. This is frying up really nice. Can you guys see that? On the smell of vision? Oh man, that smells delicious. Got that? Can you do that? Can you do that? That smells delicious. Oh yes. And you know, um, the edges of it is frying up really nice. Uh, bone in pork chop. This is not the center cut. The center cut is really, it's, it dries out a little bit faster than the bone in. Plus, I like the bone in. It reminds me more of a steak. So, you know, I think I'm, reminds me of eating like a T-bone or a porterhouse. I'm like, okay, I'm eating a nice steak. Flip this over one more time. Oh, yeah. That's browning up and crisping really nice. potatoes really really nice with this some fried potatoes or french fries but i'm trying to back off on that stuff but don't worry that's my kryptonite potatoes are my kryptonite and chips i love chips and potatoes fried guy laid to the side potatoes i will have them and these are also great uh in the oven Take them in the oven, a little salt, pepper, maybe some lemon, uh, lemon pepper, and some butter. Put them in the oven. Oh, mm, I, that's doing good. Just thinking about it, <laughs> I might have to do that soon. That man, I, I should have did that instead of frying it. But I, I had a taste for the fried pork chop. Now, if I was misbehaving, I would put this in a sandwich. Yes, I. If I was misbehaving, I'd get the toast, and I put some. Mayo, the aioli I made, the lemon aioli. I put that on there and some lettuce, tomatoes. Oh man, I would make a sandwich out of it. Cut it right off of the bone and make a sandwich. But I'm trying to behave. So that's why I only have the apples and the and the uh, chimichurri. Trying to get this to fry up pretty quick here. I'm, it's the smell, man, the smell of this one. You're gonna have to work on the smell of this one. That's one thing that um, some people eat their pork medium. No, Miss Esslin eats her pork well done. Not dry, but well done. I, uh, I eat my steaks medium. But um, I eat my chicken well done. I eat my fish well done. Um, the sushi that I eat is cooked. It is not the raw sushi, so. No, there's only one or two things. That I like raw vegetables. What else do I like raw? That's not too many things I like raw. All right, now we're gonna turn the fire off. You know what? I gotta turn the fire back on. Turn the fire back on. Because I forgot <clears throat> I had this other one sitting over here. That's that part timers kicking in. I don't have all timers, I have part timers. So we'll get this off of here, off the bottom. 
We're going to let that rest a few minutes before we cut it. So I'm going to get over here. I'm going to get this other pork chop. Then I'm going to lay it in the grease. Oh, this is a nice one also. I'm going to just lay it in there. Rinse off the tongs real quick. And I'm going to dry them off really fast. So you remember, oil and water don't mix. So that's why I'm trying to dry them off really quick. Yeah, oil and water don't mix. You have to remember that. That's why I rinsed them, but I wanted to dry them off. Now we're just going to let this sit just a few more minutes on here. Then we're going to plate it. Then we're going to taste it. Look, the crunchies. Mmm. That's what my little flavor is. And that crust. It's well seasoned. The right amount of garlic, the right amount of onion flavor, and the right amount of salt, pepper. That Laurie's is, is hitting on something. Okay, now we're going to take this. We're going to transfer it to that, this plate here. We're going to sit this one back here. And we'll sit that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spoon of this chimichurri on it. That look delicious. Now it might get it might get a delicioso. It just might. Oh, it smells so delicious. It smells delicioso. We're gonna keep an eye on that pork chop there. Then we're gonna get us a little taste of it. We're gonna keep an eye on this one here. Two more minutes on that side. Let's just see. This looks like a nice piece here. Look at here. See? Can you see? It's nice and still hot, but it's tender. See how juicy that is? It's not dried out. That's still nice and juicy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip it in here in a little bit of this chimichurri. Now, here goes the pork chop. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. Because the chimichurri kind of like seeped down in the pork chop with the flavoring. That is really good. That that is delicious. Now we're going to take these apples that we, we um, docked it up a little more. First, I'm going to turn this over. Oh, yeah, that's frying up really good. I'm going to cut me another piece of this nice, juicy pork chop here. Oh, that is so good. Mix it in there. Get a little bite of the apple. It's sweet. Doesn't that look good? Look at there, the pork chop is still juicy. The apple, we're going to try it. Mmm. 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 That is really, really delicious, though. You got the spices from the um, apples mixing with the chimichurri. The um, tanginess from that mixing with the pork chop. Oh, that's a meal in itself. That is really a meal in itself. I'll just take one more good look at that. That is just delicious. The pork chop is nice and juicy. And down here, see, you don't even have the chimichurri down here. That's just, that is just nice, juicy pork chop. If you like what you see, thumbs up. If you want more, hit the dinner bell. You can leave a comment. You know what? You might have a better recipe than me. We'll discuss it. I might even want to try it. Subscribing is free. Sharing is nice. I would like everyone watching to stay safe and positive. You never know what we're going to do here next. Have a nice evening.